In this video, I'm going to explain how to configure a FastSales mailbox using POP or IMAP protocols within Outlook 2019 for various mailbox types such as Exchange Basic, Mail Lite, Mail Extra, Starter, Standard, and Advanced. You can even set up an Exchange mailbox via POP or IMAP if you want to. Obviously, you'd probably rather use the Exchange protocol if you're using Outlook 2019, but it is an option should you need it. IMAP is generally recommended for accessibility across multiple devices while POP3 is suitable if privacy or local storage is preferred. I'm going to be using IMAP throughout my guide, but the settings required to change it into POP if you want that are very minor, and I'll show them as they come up. So I'm starting within the FASOS control panel, and I'm looking at the mailbox that I'm intending to add to my mail client. So in this case, it's going to be tom at fhtetips-hosting.co.uk, and it is a mail extra mailbox, and it uses the POP slash IMAP connection type. I know what the password for this mailbox is, but if you're in a situation where you don't know the password, you're gonna to wanna to change that first before you go ahead with this process because you will need to enter the password in to set this mailbox up. So now that I know which mailbox I'm gonna add, I'm now going to open up Outlook. Now this is the first time that I've opened Outlook on this computer, so I'm getting the welcome screen. Now, if you already have a mailbox set up, and you need to go ahead and add a new mailbox, don't worry, we will cover that later on in the video. But for now, I'm gonna proceed as if this is the first time you're using Outlook as well. So what we're gonna do is type in the email address that we want to set up, which so it is tom at fhtetips-hosting.co.uk. And in our case, because we know that we're setting this up as a POP or IMAP mailbox, I'm going to click Advanced Options, I'm going to opt to let me set up my account manually. I'm going to click connect. And now what it's doing is showing me the options that I have for the account type. Now we know that in our case, we're using either POP or IMAP. And like I said at the start of the video, I tend to use IMAP because it's the more accessible option. So it's now taking us through to the actual account settings screen. So this is where we need to start entering in that account information. So first things first, we need to enter in an incoming mail server. So what we're going to do is type in mail.livemail.co.uk. Now, sometimes when this screen opens, it will automatically pick out some settings for you. And it might be mail, but it might end in your domain name. So it could be mail at fhtechtips-hosting. In this case, that would be incorrect. You want live mail because that is the domain name that is associated with our mail servers. So you will always want to change that to live mail if it's already populated. So we're also going to need to change the port. And in our case, because we're going for an IMAP mailbox, we're going to enter in the port 993. If we wanted to set up as a POP mailbox and we selected POP at the start of this process, that port instead would be 995. And that's the only real difference. But because we're doing an IMAP mailbox, we'll leave that as 993. For the encryption method, we're going to use SSL slash TLS, and we are going to leave uh, the requirement for logon using SPA unticked. We don't need that. Next, we're going to enter in the outgoing mail server, and in this case, it's going to be smtp.livemail.co.uk. Again, this may already be populated, and it may already show smtp. But then again, end in your domain name. And just as with the incoming mail server, what we actually want is the live mail option because that is the one that connects through to our mail server. Again, we're gonna change the ports. And in this case, we're going to use port 465. Encryption method, again, we're gonna change that to SSL slash TLS. And just as before, we're gonna leave the requirement for logon using SPA unticked. So those are the settings that you need for an IMAP mailbox. So. We're gonna click next. And finally, we're gonna enter in the password for our mailbox. And just like that, the account setup is complete. It's a very quick process. It just needed to authenticate against the servers and make sure that the password was correct. So I'm just gonna untick setup Outlook Mobile on my phone. Obviously, if you want to do that, then go ahead. But in my case, I'm not doing that in this video. Then I'm gonna click OK. And in the background, there we go, it's now opened up Outlook for us and it's opened up our mailbox. So there we go, we now have an IMAP mailbox set up within Outlook 2019. And again, the same process applies for POP, but as, as I was showing during the process, 
you select pop instead of imap in that account type selection and you'd use the port 993 for incoming mail server and that would be the only real difference. So like I said at the start of the video it may be that you've already got a mailbox set up within Outlook and you're looking to set up a new mailbox using this method but you don't have that welcome screen which is absolutely fine all you need to do is go to file and then you have a few options to select from. You could simply just add a new account within this mail profile. When you set up an Outlook configuration, you're also setting up a mail profile and all of your mailboxes are included within that mail profile. So for example, I could have tom at fhtechtips-hosting.co.uk and I could also have outlook at fhtechtips-hosting.co.uk within this mail profile. And whenever I open Outlook, it will then show them both here for me on the left-hand side of the screen. So if we were just gonna add a new account, we simply click add account and again we have that welcome screen and you just follow the exact same process. But that may not be what you want. You may not want your second mailbox included here within your Outlook profile. You may want a separate profile, especially if there are multiple people that use the same machine and you want to make sure that your emails are separated. Well, in that case what we can do instead is go to file, go to account settings and then click on manage profiles. We then click show profiles and here we can add a brand new mail profile to Outlook. So I'm going to add Tom as a profile and you can see it's already going to try and get me to set up a brand new email address. By default it's going to try and take you through the auto account setup process but if you're using a POP or IMAP mail account you're not going to want that. Instead go to manual setup, click next, click POP IMAP, click next. Now obviously this interface looks slightly different, but the process is actually exactly the same. So we start off by typing in our name, and that is the global address list name. So when you email someone, this is the name that shows up when you email them. You're going to put in your email address, so tom at fhtechtips-hosting.co.uk. We're then going to set the account type, and then we're going to enter in our incoming server, which is mail.livemail.co.uk and then we're going to enter in our outgoing mail server which is smtp.livemail.co.uk we're then going to enter in the password we're going to leave require logon using secure password authentication unticked so now that I've entered that information in I then go to more settings and this is where we're going to start to change the ports like we did last time. If we click on advanced, we're then going to see the ports that we can change here. Now in my case, it's already started off on 993. If it hasn't for you, change that to 993. Make sure that SSL slash TLS is selected. Make sure that you change the outgoing server to 465. And this one is something that does catch people out sometimes. Whenever you change the following type of, whenever you change the encryption type for outgoing, and to be fair, I think it also does it for incoming as well, it will change the ports on you. So if I was to do 993 and then change over to SSL TLS, that's fine. If I was to do 465 and change to SSL TLS, it switches it back. So make sure you double check those ports. Make sure you probably better to actually do the encryption type first and then do the port afterwards. Otherwise, it's just something that might be missed. But there we go, those are the settings. And if I click OK, and then all you need to do is click next and it will start to set up that mailbox for you.